I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, it's a little after 11, I was up a little after 9 today. Um, I actually decided um, if I'm going to rip out and grow on my chin, I'm going to get them all out at the same time so that um, I can have, I, I can go through the process of healing um, at the same time. Um, so I've actually got two giant holes in my face. Um, I don't know, it, it's mostly just swelling. It looks worse than it is. Um, I probably should have applied some temperature to keep the swelling down. Um, that's really all there is to it. It's just, it, it's like two giant bruises, um, really. And um, it'll take some while, to, it'll take a while to heal, but it's not, it looks worse than it is. Um, when I went to sleep last night, the, the system seemed fine, so I'll be focusing on that today. Um, I, I do think I'll take a big jump up ahead. And, um, other problems notwithstanding, I should be able to, um, start working on track number nine by the end of the day. Oh, I just want to add that, um, I wanted to be a surgeon when I was a kid, so there's, <laughs> there's some surgery on my face. Um, I actually went in the middle of the night looking for some tweezers. Um, it probably would be less intense if I had some tweezers rather than having to do it with my fingers. Um, but... You know, it's a little bit of um, uh, ad hoc, um, improvised surgery on my face there. Um, it hurts a little. Um, uh, I kind of wish it wasn't there, but, I mean, they were really big and grown hairs, and they had to come out. Um, like I said, they, they both, well, the one here, I thought it was a pimple. Um, and so I popped the pimple, and the hair kind of presented itself, and I mean, it had to, if I would have left it there, it would have healed, I would have had the same thing happen again, and it would have just continued forever, right, so it had to come out. This one, you could actually see the hair, like, under my skin, it was like, I don't know, like a millimeter under the skin or something, and it was actually there for, for a good while, that's why I decided, okay, I'm, if I'm gonna, like, I had to rip that one out, I might as well rip the other one out at the same time kind of thing. Um, and I really had to go in there. I had to, like, rip my skin apart to pull the hair out. Um, and when it did come out, I, I, I actually kind of wish I had footage of it because my face was, like, like, there was, like, blood pouring out of my face and there was, like, this hair and it was actually kind of stuck and I'm trying to stop the bleeding and pull the hair out at the same time. Um, it really, um... I, I, I don't know. Um, are there surgical? There are probably surgical procedures that, that do what I did with my fingers last night. Um, I need to make sure I keep the area clean um, while it's um, bruising over. That's really the primary issue. Um, like I say, it's, it, it, it's really just swelling. Um, it's, just, it's just a giant bruise, two giant bruises on my face, underneath my chin. Um, in a few days it'll be gone. It's not that big a deal, but it does kind of hurt, and I gotta make sure I keep it clean. Um, but yeah, um, uh, I got work to do today, and um, presuming that it's okay, I will. It's about um, okay, it's for one already. Um, <clears throat> I put twice as much rhubarb in today, and blended it a little bit longer. Um, I still can't taste the difference, so. Um, I'm going to try to cook it a little bit tomorrow and see if that makes a difference. Um, maybe it's just because, I mean, I mean, it's thawed, but it's not, um, it's not, like, stewed or anything, so. Uh, I'll maybe just microwave it a little bit tomorrow before I, I throw it in and see if that, um, brings it out a little bit. But, I mean, it's just, it's very weak. It's kind of like a, like I say, it's a herby kind of taste. Um, I, 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 I see no benefit to this, really. Of the meals I will make for you, some of them are designed specifically for a health purpose. Um, these are going to be mostly the newer meals. Um, I haven't made any of them because, as I've stated repeatedly, I've been trying to get rid of um, all of that extra spaghetti. Um, I think I'm down to, well, I just finished, I, I just cooked the pot just right now, and I think I probably have one more pot after that. 
So I'm looking at, you know, six, seven, maybe eight days left of, uh, of spaghetti. Um, and then I'll get back into my regular um, eating routine. Um, but of the meals that I will make for you, there will be some that are designed specifically to be healthy. Um, and there are others that um, are a consequence of circumstance. Um, I, I, I've shown you a couple that are a consequence of circumstance already. Um, but I've been a little bit vague about it because I can't often remember what the first time I made something was or why I made it. I just remember the recipe, right? And I just keep doing it. Um, but this one I specifically remember um, as, a, as, a, as, as a result of circumstance. And so um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about that circumstance before I show you what I'm making. Um, so here's the deal. Imagine this. It is, let's say, 3.30 in the morning. Um, you're working, but, you know, you're not getting a lot of hours. Um, or maybe, you know, maybe you're in school or whatever it is. Either way, um, y you're on a food budget. Um, you're on a budget overall. And you're, um, stuck, um, in between, um, the end of periods. So, um, you, you're, you've got a paycheck coming in three days, four days, and you've got something like $20, to feed yourself with um, for that remaining period. You know, maybe you spent too much money on cigarettes or other smokables or, or, or something else, but whatever it is, um, you're in the situation, you've got, you know, a, a, a modest amount of money um, or a less than modest amount of money to feed yourself for a couple of days um, until you get a paycheck in. And it's very early in the morning, so um, you're not going to be able to get to um, a grocery store to use your funds efficiently. So what, you, what you've got available to you is a gas station. Now, generally when I'm in that situation, um, my, go back, my fallback is those nachos. All right, it's late in the morning, I have little, sorry, early in the morning, I have not much food in the house. Um, I will generally want to walk down to the store get some Doritos and make myself some nachos and then go to the grocery store in the morning or, or, or something else along those lines. Um, but you may be in a situation where you have no cheese. Da -da -da -da. There's no cheese. What do you do when there's no cheese? Well, have you ever tried to buy cheese at a gas station? I do not advise this. It is exceedingly expensive. Um, I mean, you, 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 they're bad at, like, at a corner store, it's bad. At a gas station, it's just outrageous. Um, in fact, most of the, the food that you want to buy at a gas station is outrageous. You are far better off, in most cases, getting some kind of processed crap rather than actually getting real food. I mean, they'll charge you like $1.50 for a banana. You can get like a bunch of bananas for a buck fifty. It's like, the, the prices are outrageous, right? But, I mean, they, they do that because they know that the only people that are buying food are people that are there at 3 o'clock in the morning because um, they slept in because they were baked or something like that. So, what do you do in that situation? you got to eat. You, you, I mean, you, you, you don't have to eat, but maybe you actually might have to eat because maybe you haven't eaten in a couple of days, um, which is something that I don't do anymore, but I used to do um, quite often. So... There, there's your dilemma, right? So, what I'm going to do in that situation is I'm actually going to walk in and I am going to look for the cheese. And I'm going to see what, what, the, what the price of the cheese is and then I'm going to go hour. I'm going to go, hmm, this is no good. Um, but, in the, in the meantime, I will be eyeing those Doritos and I will be saying to myself, well, if I cannot make nachos, what else can I make with these Doritos? Um, and the truth is that as far as, um, you know, bang for your buck, um, you know, fat or, or cal calories per, per, per dollar, um, your, your Doritos are one of your better shots um, because they're very high in calories. So something you might do um, is, is what I am going to show you right here. You may decide to get yourself some spaghetti. Um, it won't be cheap, or as cheap as in the grocery store, but it probably won't be too, too bad. Um, spaghetti is one of the things that means because spaghetti is so cheap, you know. Um, and you may get yourself 
um, some Doritos. Although, I would suggest that you probably want to get a small bag of Doritos because you are concerned about income. And then you're going to want to get some soup. Okay, So, what you're going to do is really not that complex. You're going to take your spaghetti, you're going to cook it, and then you're going to dump your mushroom soup on top. If you choose mushroom soup. I knew my battery was low. I was hoping I could get through my um, my monologue there. Maybe my, my monologue was a little bit long-winded, but I still I, I didn't get a little I didn't get a little battery low button either. Anyways, um, I'm using mushroom soup because I have a lot of mushroom soup. I have used in the past um, uh, broccoli soup, um, cream of onion, um, any kind of creamy soup really will do. Um, you know, mix it up, try it a bunch of different different ways. Um, and then you're going to take your Doritos and you are going to dump them in. And in fact, I'm going to put this down because this is a two-handed job. Um, or maybe I'll just... Yep, there we go like that. Right, so, um, this is a bit more than a small bag of chips. Not a lot more. A bit more. Okay. And you're going to want to just... Hold over like that. Okay. And there is actually the original Dorito spaghetti. Um, that's the way I had it first. I think I had that first sometime, probably around 2007 or 2008. Um, I believe it's something that happened um, when I was um, in school um, studying programming, which would have been my second, um, well, it would have been my third or fourth. Um, block of school, but my second um, program that I was uh, were all non-contiguous. Anyways, it, it, it maybe we'll have this conversation one day. Anyways, um, it was around 2007 or 2008 um, that I did this did that for the first time, and I have done this many many times actually, um, because it's um, I mean in total it costs you know 250 or whatever. Um, it's, you know, cheaper than buying a, buying a burger or something, um, and, um, it'll get you through till the morning. Um, if you've got hot sauce, um, I would suggest it. Um, and then you just throw that in the microwave, and you go from there. Now, as it happens to be, um, I am not, um, in that situation today, so I am going to expand my pasta out a little bit. I got my salami, my green peppers, and my cheese. Um, I will put that together. Um, and make myself a meal out of it, but that is the um, late night um, emergency snack um, when there is no cheese um, and you don't want to pay, you know, eight dollars per hundred grams of cheese or whatever ridiculous price the, um, the, the gas station wants to charge you. Um, so I'll put that together and uh, I'll give you a shot of it when it's done. And there we are, as you can see that looks um, absolutely delicious. Um, it's really quite similar to my normal um, default fettuccine, except um, there's no tomatoes, and I have mushroom soup instead of Caesar dressing. Um, I, I don't... I like tomatoes and I like mushrooms, but I don't really like them together. So, um, that's kind of that. I mean, I guess it's in a different order, but um, it's really basically the same idea.